Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys. Uh, as I said in the last video, I was going to talk about Amir Khan in the next video. So as promised, I'm going to tell you why I think... Amir Khan will never fight Kale Brook under no circumstances. I think one is because he doesn't believe he can beat Kale Brook. Now, I think Amir Khan can handle losing to guys like Canelo and some of the other people he's been knocked out by. But I think it would kill him inside to lose to Kale Brook. Because one, it would be for UK supremacy. The top dog, you know, in the UK, at least at 147. I don't think either one of those dudes is top dog at 147 as far as pound for pound, you know, the welterweight division goes. But it'll be a good fight for the boxing fans. But to me, Amir Khan has just been holding up this fight. He always has the excuse why he doesn't want to fight Kale Brook. From, you know, he's the A-side and Kale Brook needs to fight Earl Spence first and all that type of shit. I'm going to tell you something. I don't think... Amir Khan will ever fight Gil Brook because if he wanted to he would have already done it by then this dude was offered 10 million dollars American money to fight Gil Brook and he didn't want to take that fight he kept saying oh um, I'm trying to see can I get the Floyd Mayweather fight first of all you're not going to get 10 million for Floyd Mayweather and you wouldn't have beat Floyd Mayweather anyway Floyd would have paid you at best three million dollars and you had a chance to make 10 off Kale Brook and you refused to, t to take that fight win lose or draw whatever happens between Kale Brook and Earl Spence Jr. if that fight ever takes place Amir Khan will find a way to get out of it he will either start talking that you know he's the A-side and Kale Brook has done enough to, to earn a fight with him like Amir Khan has the best resume in the world He'll come up with every type of excuse there is. And then let's just say, well, if Kell Brook loses to Earl Spence, which most people think he will, then Amir Khan will say, well, why should I fight Kell Brook now? He lost that fight. And if Kell Brook wins the fight, he'll say, well, like oh, I need to do more. And if it's a draw, he'll say some shit like, well, he need to fight Earl Spence again, so they could have a clear winner. Like I said, Amir Khan is full of shit, man. He's been proven to be full of shit. So, I just don't think he's going to ever fight Kell Brook. His track record shows it. Not that, you know, not that Kell Brook isn't full of shit in his own right. He's been proven to be full of shit, too. So, to me, both of these guys deserve each other. And like I said before, they will be forever linked to each other until they fight and get it over with. And then here's the thing. Let's just say Kell Brook does fight Errol Spence. And then he doesn't move up to 154 and say, okay, well, I'll stay at 147 for one last fight with Amir Khan. And then Amir, I'm telling you, Amir Khan will find a way to get out of it. And I don't want to hear that Amir Khan can't go up to 150 or something and fight Kell Brook because he went up to, like, uh, if I'm not mistaken, he went up uh, to, what, 154? A little bit past 150 to fight um, Canelo. So he definitely could do it with um, with Kell Brook. But due to the fact that Amir Khan has a history of being full of shit, I just don't see that fight happening. But anyway, uh, let me know what you guys think, man. I'm out.